Well, here we have another coaster review, and this review is going to be of the Big Apple Coaster at the New York, New York Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, formerly known as Manhattan Express and the Roller Coaster. I got my chance to ride this in August of 2019, and I'll be giving my full thoughts on it and an overall score at the end. So you enter the casino after you pay the $17. And then you board your trains, which are the premier trains, which seem to a taxi cab. You pull down the lap bar and the restraint, which everyone despises the shoulder harnesses, the shoulder pads, which really dig into your shoulders. So then you make a left turn out of the casino, and then you rise up the lift hill to a height of 203 feet. And then you go into a first drop, which is fun. Then you get yanked onto the left. You got a brace for that. You go up and then you turn left and then you go down the coolest part, the drop, which you get violent airtime. And you go up and then you turn left. And then that's another part you got a brace for, for the loop. And then... This is the inversion, which is really the king of bracing the dive loop because it can be really rough if you do not brace for it. And then you make a slight right turn into the mid course brake run. And then you make a 180 degree left turn into a drop. And then on that airtime hill, I got some airtime. And then you rise up and then you make a 180 degree turn right. You drop and then you go into another airtime hill, which you get floater airtime. Then you rise up into the helix where I got a lot of laterals. And then you rise into another airtime hill and then rise into the brakes and then your ride is over. Now, I've been hearing this coaster is polarizing, but many people seem to despise it. I did not. So this is why for my final overall score, I'll be giving this a 9 out of 10. Guys, I liked this coaster. Let me know your thoughts of this coaster. Do you love it like me or do you hate it like some of the other people? Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you. Keith's Trans Experiences, out.